Second Mile is very much my family. It's been since I literally was two years old, and so the core value Amplify has been important to me since I joined when I was a sophomore in high school, I think, so it was, it's been a while. And I think singing and leading has grown not only my leadership skills, obviously, and relationships within the church, but also ultimately um, my adoration of Jesus and understanding of why it's important to sing to him and for him. No matter what we're going through, whether it's joyous or um, grief, we can look up to Jesus and remind ourselves um, his character, who he is, when we ourselves don't have the words. He has gifted us in abilities to worship Him and bring honor to Him um, at church, but also in our daily lives. We can look to Him um, and bring honor to Him, to the relationships around us and um, to the people around us. Hi, my name is John DeSoto and I have been coming to Second Mile for 18 years now. Worship to me is one of the ways that I uh, feel free to express um, who I am in my relationship with Jesus. Being someone who's typically uh, quite an introvert, I find that worship is one of those areas of my life where I feel uninhibited in my expression of how I worship. It allows me to understand that although I've made many mistakes in my life and I have been uh, ruled by shame, that I understand that that's not how Jesus sees me. And so being able to be vulnerable in worship and not be ruled by shame, not be ruled by the fear of man, allows me to um, just be in a place where I can feel that inhibition. You are powerful. You are great and afraid of you. My name is Gavin Caldwell. I've been going to Second Mile for around three years now. And I've been impacted in my walk with the Lord through Second Mile and its core value of Amplify both as a singer and as a musician on stage. My personality, I'm a person who's very driven by uh, performance out of a good way that you know God has designed me, but sometimes out of pride and sometimes out of my desire and need to be accepted, not just in worship but all throughout life. My performance is often what the enemy uses to um, you know, bring about lies and doubt. I grew up in a church where there was definitely an aura of performance around um, the worship, and it taught me that they're on stage performing, and I'm down in the floor, and I am consuming the worship experience, and Second Mile does it so different. I've been taught here that, oh my gosh, wow, it doesn't matter whether I'm on stage holding an instrument or I'm down on the floor. I am a valued member of this body and I am here uh, contributing in a meaningful way to really allow myself to just fully be in front of the presence of the Lord and put aside even for a, a brief moment a glimpse of all the expectations of the world, self-imposed or otherwise. I can just be in God's presence and know that man, He's proud of me and He's glad I'm here and He's overjoyed that I am before Him. As a leader, I can also look out and see people's stories and recognize people's stories and pray and sing over them as well. Um, but not only that, Jesus, as we're singing to Him, He's also looking down on us and seeing those stories. So a lot of times that's what that corporate worship experience is like, is an encouragement that picks me up and allows me to understand that everyone else is in this together. To hear the voices in this place on a Sunday morning and with full surrender just never ceases to amaze me.